from Macworld. This is my first interview of the week, and I'm so excited to be bringing all the science-based technology that's happening here, and there's a lot. I'm really excited to be here talking at the Solio booth. Solio has one of the, I think, most important advances in battery help that we can see here at Macworld, and it's taken over the globe. Chris, can you tell us a little bit, you're the CEO of Solio, where did the idea to create this battery charging device come from? Better Energy Systems was started back in 2001 basically with a vision to make renewable energy something that was really meaningful and tangible by the modern mass markets, right? So up until then really you could find uh, solar panels on the top of a roof or you know maybe in a calculator but that was pretty much it. So we've really uh, been able to transform people's interaction with, with solar in particular uh, with some of the most personal devices, uh, i.e. iPhones, iPods, uh, cell phones, and so forth, to really, to, to, to really make that, uh, that, uh, that interaction meaningful. You're bringing these solar battery charging devices to communities in Africa and are able to, to get people an opportunity to get energy to their portable devices where they might have to walk a long distance without this to be able to find an electrical outlet to be able to charge up their phone. Right. So, it, so you're changing things in the world. This is neat. In addition to actually powering cell phones, what we're also doing is we also can power light. And so in places where they're burning kerosene, uh, which is, you know, in many parts of the world, in fact, you know, kerosene market's about a $50 billion market. And if you look at the global uh, warming impact in terms of the uh, CO2 emissions as a result of uh, kerosene burning, it's actually the equivalent of the sixth largest country in the world. So if you take all of California and the pollution caused by California, this is, you know, this is the same as kerosene for lighting in developing countries. So Solio is also enabling communication as well as light. So let's take a look at these devices here really fast. So this here is a, a little, it's as big as your hand really, or a deck of cards. It's pretty small and it contains how many solar panels and what kind of solar technology are you using? Okay, so in this, in this model here, this is using polycrystalline solar uh, cells mm -hmm. um, and internal, uh, it's got an internal battery which is a high capacity lithium ion. We also have lithium polymer uh, batteries in, in, in some of our other models. Um, so essentially what that's doing is it's converting this electricity from the sun and uh, storing it within the internal battery, okay? Yeah. And then from there, which, which is really nice, is that internal battery, once you attach a cable for a, you know, an adapter for a cell phone or a, any model you want, what's unique only to Solio is its ability to recognize and charge at the exact same rate as has been specified by the, 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 by the device. So we're the only, only solar product that's been approved by OEMs such as you know, Palm and other, other, other um, um, companies like that. So. How long does it take to charge up in full sun or a, on a cloudy day? How, lo how long do you need to sit this device out to do that? You know, so depending on the model, we have various different versions. This one came out, just came out here. It's uh, you know, our most efficient uh, version. Um, but our, typically you're looking at eight to 10 hours which equates to you know one to two days uh, of direct sunlight, and depending on the the model, and also you know the other factor that determines how long it takes to fully charge this is obviously the internal battery size. So the H1000 has a thousand milliamp hour battery, which is great. I mean that's you know that's more than most cell phones uh, and then some. Um, that takes a, around the same amount of time, but it's also got a slightly reduced solar area. Well, thank you so much for bringing your your new products here to MacWorld. This is, I'm I'm a believer. I'm loving these things. I'm gonna have to find a way to get myself one one of these days. Thank you so much for this interview. It's fabulous. Bandwidth for MacBreak is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com.